everybody, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be coloring my hair. So my hair has grown a lot since the last time I colored it back in June of 19. And yeah, it's been bothering me since. But I've already damaged it so much that I didn't want to like go back and fix it. So instead of um, dyeing it and chemically ruining my hair even more than it already is, I decided to go to get Overtone. So Overtone is not a dye, it is a color depositing conditioner. And I've seen so many like reviews and videos on this, so I decided why not try it out for myself. And I'm going back to the Jet Black. So, ooh. opening this up, we have a pair of gloves, we have a hair guide, and then we have the product itself. So, I'm gonna unwrap this. rich black not jet black but here it is pretty nice size so I'm gonna get started with this I'm gonna actually miss this hair color though but I'm actually excited to try this so let's get started because I don't want to stain my hands I'm gonna actually open this okay I will be using gloves. Alright, so opening this up. smell to it right when you open it up okay so I wear black too just in case it stains like anything else so I'm just gonna get started I use what's on the lid I should really section my hair but um yeah I think I might section it I'm gonna go just like this. At first I didn't think I need to, but now I'm actually just gonna section my hair. Okay. Put the gloves back on. I'm gonna go right into it. Yeah, the smell is like this minty smell. Also standing on my tippy toes too, so short girl problems. This does have a purple undertone to it. I can see it's like a purple undertone. So not completely black.
So I just finished coloring my entire head. Um, with this product, you do want to make sure you don't have any mist spots. So like go through your hair thoroughly and make sure like nothing is missed. So that's what I did. So I'm going to wait 15 to 30 minutes and I will be back. Also, this product does stain, as you can see from my arms, my ears, and my neck. So, do wear a shirt that you're not gonna miss when using Overtone, and also wear gloves. But my arms are stained, anyways. So, yeah. So, it's been about 30 minutes. So, I am gonna go downstairs actually to the downstairs bathroom and rinse this up because I'm afraid that the conditioner is gonna stain this tub like it did to my arms but yeah once I rinse this out I'll show you guys the final results so this is the final result honestly my thoughts on this product is that it is really good I am like shook like overtone really impressed me I didn't think like it would work this good but yes I really love it the only thing is that um this is the rich black one but there is a, a purple bluish undertone to it which I don't mind it still looks very very nice and so I just rinsed it off um yeah I rinsed it until like the water ran clear like, look at this. Again, the color I used was rich black, and it does have like a purple bluish tint to it. And it's not bad actually. It's I actually do like it. It's pretty good. And it's made my hair really soft too. Like, I can comb my finger through it without getting it in knots. So after rinsing, I just blow dried and straightened like normal and final results. So a few things about this product is um, it does stain, so be careful with that. If you don't want to stain your tub, be very careful because yes, it does stain. And another thing is when you're applying this to your hair, there will be a lot of um, what I call mist spots so you want to like apply it evenly and go through and make sure that you don't miss anything otherwise it'll be colored unevenly and you don't want that so just a few tips when I was using this that I noticed so, I mean I was able to get most of the stains or the colors off my arms and my neck and my ears again be careful if you're afraid of staining yourself which I didn't mind because most of it came off anyways but yeah I'm really happy with the results it looks very nice and it feels so weird to have black hair again after all this time but I missed it honestly I didn't think I'd miss it this much until I saw the final result but <laughs> another thing is it is a um, semi-permanent conditioner color depositing conditioner so it will fade out with um, every wash so I'm gonna update you guys on how many washes that it takes for yeah it will fade away with every wash so I will update you guys on how many washes it takes for it to fade because I think everyone is different depending on the hair color so yeah I'll let you guys know in the description I guess the only downside I have to this product is that it's not truly rich black. I mean, in this lighting, it does look black, but really in different lightings, you can see the blue and purple undertone. So that's my only downside to this product. I just wish that it was like a truly rich black color, but I'm okay with it because it did do its job. It did deposit the color into my hair and it does look black for the most part. And this product does retail for $29. My final thoughts, all in all, I do recommend this product. It did do its job. Um, when purchasing this product, you have to like keep in mind the color of your hair and that everyone's different and everybody's gonna have different results and their experience is gonna be different. Mine turned out pretty okay for the most part. I do like it. 
it did do its job and my hair is black like I wanted it again with the blue purple undertone I don't mind it as much as others but yes do try this product if you guys are interested or if you guys wanted to try it for yourself but didn't know how or what it's gonna be like I recommend you guys do try this product Again, before purchasing this product, just know that it will be different for everyone depending on your current hair color and the color that you choose. For example, someone with black hair who wanted to try the rose gold color will have different results than someone who has platinum hair and tries the rose gold color. So, keep that in mind. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!